Hello everyone, we are Jukun Amskara. Welcome back to CMAS Academy. In today's video, we are going to learn a 6 marks question. This is a practical problem. So, calculation problem is from the chapter Market Equilibrium. So, 6 marks is a practical question. So, we shall read what is the question. Suppose the demand and supply curves of wheat are given by QD. And the demand equation is QD is equal to 200 minus P. P is the price. Okay. And QS is equal to 120 plus P. This is the supply equation. QS is the supply equation. QD is the demand equation. They have told us to find the equilibrium price. Then B, find the equilibrium quantity of demand and supply. C, find the quantity of demand and supply when P, that is price is greater than equilibrium price. D, find the quantity of demand and supply when price is less than equilibrium price. So totally we have 4 questions to solve. Alwa, 4 answers. Now first of all, how to solve this? We have to write what is given in the question. Question is given. So we write given. QD is equal to 200 minus P. And QS is equal to 120 plus P. So first again, we find out. We have to find the equilibrium price. So first one, equilibrium price. Equilibrium price and find out madwaga. What we do is this equation that is 200 minus p and 120 plus p. This equate this equation use that is 200 minus p is equal to equate madu is equal to use 200 minus p is equal to 120 plus p. Avaga namige e p value sigate. That itself is our equilibrium price. Okay, so how do we solve the equation? 200 is side alitha, 200 anna haage it koli. Equal side inna aachi side ige 120 number idha. A 120 anna when you bring to the other side of the equal to, it becomes minus alva. Because nothing is there here which means it is plus. When plus 120 comes to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes minus 120. So 200 minus 120 is equal to. Illi p idha adha naidha haage bari ire. P plus p. Andhra illi minus p idha alva. That will go to the other side. So it becomes P here as it is minus P goes to the other side it becomes plus P. 200 minus 120 is how much? 80 which is equal to P plus P. So coefficient it will be 1 here and here also it is 1. So 2 P I to. Therefore P is equal to 80 divided by 2. Answer is 40. So this is our equilibrium price. Equilibrium price is to 40. Now what is the second question? Second question is find the equilibrium quantity of demand and supply. So, equilibrium quantity demanded yes to and equilibrium quantity supplied yes to other now find out madabeku. Now, already equilibrium price namke sikki de from the first uh, solution that is 40 alva. So, ye gain illa uh, namke equation gotti de QD quantity demanded idu equation gotti de quantity supplied addu kuda equation gotti de price kuda ega gotta itu that is 40. Just to substitute the value. So, we are substituting P with 40. We get QD is equal to 200 minus P. So, 200 minus 40. E P place ali nivu 40 anna haak beko, substitute maad beko, okay. So 200 minus 40, therefore quantity demanded becomes how much? 160, okay. Adhe rithi quantity supplied go kuda, equation is there, 120 plus P. Signs anna correct agi note koli, it is 120 plus P. So 120 plus P, 120 plus 40, the price is 40 here. So 120 plus 40, the answer is 160. So therefore, equilibrium quantity of demand is equal to 160. Equilibrium quantity of supply is also equal to 160. Now we shall move to the third question. Third question keli dare. Find the quantity of demand and supply when price is greater than equilibrium price. Okay, price is greater than equilibrium price. Now how will we solve this? Third question. When price is greater than equilibrium price. So, ye price anna na yeshtu thagol beko. Price anna equilibrium price yeshtu bandhi thalwa. Ad kinta yeshtu thagondu yeshtu answer barat thayantho nod beko. So, equilibrium price yeshtu already now calculate maadi dewe. That was 40. Now, if that price is greater than the equilibrium price. Okay. So, 40 kinta yeshtu na value sidhre. Quantity demanded matthu quantity supplied alli yen changes barat thay yeshtu answer barat thayantho keli dara So, ye ga na yen maadi beko anthe alidre. We have to take price as 42. You can take 43, you can take 44, you can take 45 also. Okay. We are taking a uh, smaller value. So, 40 kin the hechina value tagol be kashte, ni viyav number be kadu haki kodabodu. Nimige calculation ige simple aguanta values ana tagoli. Adra adu nalvata kin the jasti irli. Okay. So, here I am taking 42. Taking P as 42. Yes, tagate quantity demanded nodi. 200 minus P is the equation. It already questionally koti daralva. 
200 minus 42 that is equal to 158. Now quantity supplied equation is 120 plus P. So 120 plus 42 price anna new 42 agatha gundre. Quantity supplied is 162 agate, which means quantity demanded matu quantity supplied is not the same and quantity supplied is higher than the quantity demanded if we are taking a higher price alva. So yen bari bodu therefore we can write when price is greater than the equilibrium price. Now price anna equilibrium price kita h chuta gundre. Quantity demanded is less. No, quantity demanded is 158 alva is less. That is 158. And quantity of supply is more. That is 162. Similarly, the next question was find the quantity of demand and supply when price is less than equilibrium price. Equilibrium price is to 40. So, you can now yes to price anna 40 ginta kadime tagolbeko alva. So, you can take any value less than 40. Nan illi. Uh, 38 and the tagoli dene. Okay. So when price is less than equilibrium price, we are taking P as 38. You can take 39, you can take 37, 36, 35, anything. Okay. But adu 40 kin the kadimir beku ega. Now we are taking 38 for now. Quantity demanded equation 200 minus P. So 200 minus ish tag beki ganano price 38 ak beku alwa. So 200 minus 38 answer is 162. Quantity supplied here 120 plus P is the equation. So, 120 plus 38 answer 158 agate. So, now what we can see, we can see it here that therefore, when the price is less than equilibrium price, when the price is less than equilibrium price, quantity demanded is more. See, it is 162 here and quantity supplied is less. That is 158. So, that was it for today's video. I hope the video was useful and the contents useful. Subscribe to channel and subscribe. Next time, I will post the videos and post the notification. Comment to your friends and share. Don't keep it to yourself. Let your classmates, your friends also get the benefit okay uh, that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching again see you in the next video till then take care bye namaste